trade this war room, trade this war room. We lock and load it. Lock and load it. Stop some on it. Hey, you know I'm on that though, man. Y'all come join it. In the traders war room, warring with the market every day we on Zoom. Never gonna quit, ain't no way we gonna lose. I'm using my AI Chad today for the narrative of the video. So what mistakes did I make with my two lotto trades last Friday? First, let's look at the two trades. First one was a lotto on Amazon. I did the $170 calls at zero DTE. The second one was a lotto trade on Boeing. I took again the $170 calls at expiration zero DTE. At first this trade was doing really well. We were up about 45% and I alerted to go ahead and set a stop loss. This was my first mistake because I utilize a mental stop loss rather than a hard stop loss. You might ask why did I do that? And to be honest, the only real reason is because I was greedy and looking for the home run. So the whole reason why I'm doing this video is to give you perspective. Because even professionals make mistakes, it happens, and it's completely normal. We all become complacent, and we look for the potential. So take this chart on Amazon. What I was looking for is another run to go retest this high region on the day. As you can see, we had sideways movement and potential to break out was there, but never happened as the day dragged on. So I decided to take an average down at the dip, hoping for the return on investment to be positive. The issue was as the day dragged on. We started losing momentum and that coupled with the loss potential of meeting and exceeding our premium by expiration caused issues with profitability. So I broke one of my rules and that was an additional average down on a failing trade with no time to make tactical and decisive decisions. Again, you ask why and the only legit reason I can give is being greedy and trying to force a profitable trade out of a loser. Again, as you can see on the chart, we made the run to retest previous higher levels, but we could not break and exceed. This is where Theta came knocking hard and the potential of a profitable trade which would meet and exceeded the premium by expiration started to fade drastically. Now let's talk about BA, keeping it 100 with you. This trade was just bad. It was bad setup, bad entry, and bad execution from the get. I broke multiple rules on this trading being greedy and trying to force it. Here was the trade. Now the first rule I broke is trading within the first 30 minutes of the opening bell. But as you can see on the chart, there was a ton of momentum and I was hoping for the breakout. But once we hit that pop at top it was downhill almost immediately. Like an idiot I thought if I went aggressive on an average down I could catch a pop from bottom to create a green trade. Literally caught the bottom for the average but with no momentum to break out. This Dow stock just theta out hard, and we never had a chance. I should have cut the trade from the beginning after we dropped 45% almost immediately after entry. Now, thank goodness this is just my small account portfolio that I am providing free trade alerts on the X platform. We lost 33% in just one day of the entire small account portfolio, which is not a complete failure of the entire account, but it is definitely something that stings extremely hard more for the ego rather than the actual pocketbook. Now there are silver linings within defeat. One of those comes from enlightenment, essentially lessons learned and getting out of a complacency rut, essentially going back to your basics and reaffirming your trading rules that have proven successful. So what do we do? Well, we shake it off. We understand that mistakes were made, but we take note of our analysis of the situation. We go back to our basics, which have made us successful in the past, and we get back out there and we do what we do. And that is attack and destroy the market utilizing strategy and discipline. So I thank you for your loyalty and respect. My goal has always been to provide you with the very best that I can through the ups and downs. There's a lot of crap out there. People trying to portray themselves as professionals, but they've never done any real time on Wall Street or at a trading office. So just know when you're riding with TWR, whether we win or lose, you're getting something real and authentic. From true pros who've put that time in on the street and who've been grinding for years, providing you that fire to help you get yours. I appreciate your time. I'll see you at that market bell. Let's go to war together. Let's go to war.
in the traders war room war with the market every day we on zoom never gonna quit ain't no way we gonna lose i done made a profit and it's way before noon way to go dude come and learn how to trade stocks 